Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just finished work today and just doing I'm just gonna do a quick video for you guys. Um okay I'm gonna show you guys this first. This is app figures. This is um a reporting system for our app company. Just reports all our revenue for the day and gives us a sum summary of it. So I'll show you this. Okay, so the app company we made uh, a couple of years ago, I told you in the previous video. Now this, I wanna tie into um, starting your own business as well as even if you're in a business right now and you're lacking motivation or you just wanna see what's new or try something different, I think this video will help you. Um, so the mobile company, when we started it, I think we were already, I think making pretty good money on our other businesses. And then we just started the mobile company to, you saw it as a trend and we wanted to, you know, be part of it and, you know, make money online with mobile apps. You saw it as a good opportunity. My brothers and I uh, put some money in it and then pretty much we're making money since the beginning with just ads like AdSense and AdMob, what was it, Chop Boost and some other um, ad companies back then. Anyway, this ties into a lot of other businesses as well as um, your mindset when you first um, want to do Amazon FBA or business online by yourself. Yeah. Your motivation and desire, it goes up and down in business. In the beginning, you might have a lot of, um, I don't know, pent up frustration for your job or you wanna have a motivation to get out of the corporate world and explore something or even wanna build something on your own. And then when you get success, some success, um, these reasonings change and if you don't um, constantly improve on yourself or keep up your motivation, yeah, the momentum will die out. And I've seen this with many other business people and you just lose that fire and they just hire some other people to take their position and they just run off to sunset. But that's a good, but uh, yeah, if you're in it, in a business that you wanna like grow for the next 20, 25 years, you really have to find or redefine your purpose in it as well as the vision that you want to see the company in. So the mobile company, I showed you some revenue. It was doing a lot more than that, but what got us through like bumps and hurdles after like the AdSense, uh, like the revenues dropped and it was just pretty hard to acquire users for cheap. Um, like maybe three, four years ago, what kept us like going was a redefining purpose. Like um, we were just making games to just make money, right? But then I think when we hired some good talented artists as well as designers, they basically uh, shifted our thinking to more of creating something that will benefit millions and millions of people. Like our games right now, they, they've garnered maybe over 15 million downloads already worldwide. And we, in the beginning, if you asked us if we were planning to like get that many downloads, I would say no, we were just going to like, pretty much like uh, test the waters for mobile apps. We heard it's like up and coming and is a trend and yeah we just want to make some positive cash flow as well as diversify our business but right now um pretty much if you um have a you want to keep up your momentum in a business you have to constantly define 
well, re-examine your purpose behind it, like the reasoning why you're running it and why you actually started it in, out in the first place, as well as the like, I won't call it end goal, but like what you see in the future for it for maybe one, two, even five years. And I also want to talk about the last thing is, yes. So I've read a couple of books recently and the one that I think will help the most with keeping up your motivation is by Brian Tracy called Eat That Frog. I've recommended it to a couple of friends of mine already. And pretty much the summary of the book is do something that just one thing every day that uh, is your ugliest frog. Your ugliest frog being uh, the one that makes the most impact on your business or personal life and that will if you do that consistently every day, you will keep your momentum up and yeah, there won't be a lack in motivation. I read a, a other couple of books similar to that is the it's called The One Thing. I read that a couple of years back. It's also similar. It says just do one thing that if you do it, uh, what will take care of most of the other things. And then the last thing is the 80-20 principle uh, I think many people know this, but one taking it one step further is actually um, if you're in the rut, just write down what like what's the the top three to five activities that take up ninety percent of your time in a day, and then do analysis. After you see what's which activities are taking up most of your time, then you you have to um, put that aside and analyze those um, main three to five tasks see how much revenue or sales they generate based on a direct correlation or not even in direct correlation you you put a figure on let's say you're doing just managerial work you could put a percentage of how that affects your revenue increase or your sales after you do that if if you find that um, the task that you takes up most of your time is not in proportion to what you expect in the revenue it brings back, you have to outsource it or just cut it out immediately. And that, I think, will also help motivation. So those are the tips I have for you guys today. Again, if you like this video, please, please like and subscribe. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.